Street team located here in Michigan, in Heineken Falls, New York, and Mainz Castell, Germany. It represents the fifth design iteration on our road production, and I'm going to show you a little history here so we understand how we got to where we are. Approximately a year and a half ago, we built our very first two proof of concept packs just to prove that we could build a battery in this form factor and meet our energy and power requirements. Being successful, we then moved into a small uh, design iteration two phase where we actually integrated that into a vehicle shown in the red boxes. Actually, two vehicles. Those vehicles were successful and allowed us to move into our full mule phase, which was design iteration three, and also was the end of our couple development program. So basically, the mule was our, our last effort to prove and convince ourselves that we could take this to production. Approximately 25 uh, battery packs that are tested here in the uh, lab, another 25 that have been in vehicles that are still on test. The vehicle driven on stage today was the mule vehicle. At that point, we can we transitioned into our production development phase uh, with full commitment to our production by November of 2010. We had a small risk reduction phase at the beginning of this year, uh, about 17 packs and two vehicles. These vehicles are under intense uh, test as we speak. And we've now made our full commitment to our prototype design and our prototype vehicles. That's the battery you see before you. We started delivering these in May. We built approximately 75, or will build approximately 75 lab packs, 85 vehicle packs, and over 100 packs uh, strictly for the validation and verification of our high speed manufacturing process. Now, oh, excuse me. The, even though every detail has changed in the design of the pack, from our first to our fifth design duration, all the basics are still here. We still have 16 kilowatt hours of total usable energy, uh, 110 kilowatts of peak power, and as you can see, we've stuck to our original design package. This was a model created about a year ago. We're still packaged, we're packaged in the vehicle without growth. We're still at 400 pounds, and as you can see, we've maintained our advantage over our old EV1 battery, 16 kilowatt hours of heat at each pack, about one third volume, one third mass. Uh, like I said earlier, every detail has changed though, and that's key because this is a production design. We have over 200 lithium ion cells supplied by LG Chem. These are arranged in a linear fashion of the pack in a proprietary design where we mechanically mount the cells. We bust them electrically, high voltage electric bus runs through the pack. We provide sensing, very key to maintaining the battery, as well as a high performance and compact thermal management system. We cool and heat every cell in the pack. In addition to that, we have our control electronics, which are packaged inside the pack. We have multiple microprocessors internally. We have our high voltage switch gear at the front. Uh, we obviously have our enclosure, which is very important because this resides under the vehicle. It has to be fully sealed against water and dust. We have um, a structural steel tray, which is an integral part of the body structure. Uh, contributes to both the body stiffness as well as its crash performance. We integrate in what we refer to as the four bar, another structural component on the back. We have an aerodynamic cover on the bottom, smooths the bottom of the tray to ensure good vehicle aerodynamics. And in between those layers, we have a very high efficiency insulation. Insulation is very key along with our thermal management system for maintaining the battery's temperature. Uh, temperature kills batteries, so our job is to treat the battery as well as the people inside the car. That's what makes them happen. Um, and that's really the key. The key here is how do we take a high, very advanced technology cell from uh, LG combined with General Motors thermal management system, General Motors uh, vehicle and battery management system and make this thing work. We have 155 unique part numbers inside the battery, uh, 147 of which were designed and engineered by General Motors. This is definitely ours and we're proud of it. Another key, as I mentioned earlier, is high-speed manufacturing. As you can see, we will use over 100 packs strictly to validate and verify our uh, manufacturing equipment, which, uh, which will be located in our recently announced battery manufacturing facility here in uh, Michigan. And to give you an idea of how many packs we're talking about, once we're at a full line rate on the, on the bolt, uh, one year's worth of batteries will be able to process over three terawatt hours of energy, or three billion kilowatts as noted here. Uh, in, a, in their lifetime of the world. 
3 billion kilowatts if you read your own electric bill, you'll know that's a, that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of batteries, it's a lot of big batteries. Um, that's equivalent, as it notes here, to the energy produced by Hoover Dam in nine months. Um, I think that shows pretty clearly our commitment to electrification of the vehicle. Uh, it's, a, it's a major effort, very sophisticated battery, very high volume, something our competitors will not have in 2010. Now, can I answer some questions? Yeah. Thermal management is done with a liquid type cooling system or air-based cooling system or both? We've chosen a liquid-based system. Okay. And I've always wanted to know, what's the notch for? Uh, that's the two bar. <laughs> so your body structure speaks pretty easy. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's, there's a body out there. There's a body structure. Body structure right. We packaged around the vehicle. Right. In the case. Wouldn't have put it there if we had a choice, but right. that's where the body structure is. The usual number you tell us is over 200 cells. How many over? Well, it's between two and three hundred. I can't give you the exact number. Closer to two? Closer to three? It's closer to three, but less than three hundred. Bill, have you tested uh, bending and torsion uh, performance of just the pack? Absolutely. Yes, we've uh, shaped and baked frozen packs. Uh, we, yes, we have it analytically and experimentally. But I will note, the entire system is a system. The pack must be in the vehicle. The vehicle needs to pack. The pack needs the vehicle because our tray, our four bar, is a three bar, by the way, it goes over here. The four bar is all durable to maintain that body structure. The pack itself would not be durable without the structure around it. The vehicle wouldn't be durable without the structure in that. It's an durable unit. What's the temperature you're maintaining in there? Well, the ideal temperature for any lithium ion cell is basically room temperature, 25 degrees C. Um, we basically maintain it in a range of uh, approximately 10 to 35 degrees. How much energy do you estimate the vehicle will draw sitting? Do you have to, if you've got it parked somewhere, is there any energy draw that's taking place for keeping the pack stabilized? Or We are, uh, that optimization is in process as we speak. It's a very difficult question, it's very hard to predict what your customer wants. We, we definitely have the capability to heat and cool, whether we're on the grid, whether the engine is running, whether it be EV mode, or whether we're sitting for us. We can do anything in this vehicle. The question is how much do you use? And we're balancing that equation right now. Okay, so uh, the, I'm asking this because Tesla had a, a problem early on where the vehicle just sitting there was drawing, it was running a fan, it was drawing drawing energy, so. We're well aware of that, yeah. and we have a very sophisticated control system to manage this. That's what makes passive insulation very, very important, because once you shut down the vehicle, you have to be able to maintain that temperature right. without using that energy. We use a very expensive insulation package to maintain that. Okay. I think we're out of time. Those are great questions, though. I appreciate it.